Hello everyone. A warm welcome to my channel Science Query. I am your host Dr. Asha. This video is about cell wall and how to draw a simple diagram of cell wall. A cell wall is a part of plant cell. It is the outer thick rigid permeable coat formed of cellulose. The cellulose is again made up of pectin and hemicellulose. Let us deep dive into the various functions of cell wall. A cell wall gives the structural integrity to the plant cell and it protects them from mechanical damage. It also helps in standing erect by providing mechanical support. It allows protoplasmic continuation by plasmodesmata. Also helps in transportation of substances from one cell to another. Cell wall also helps in preventing the osmotic bursting of the cell. Also helps in the cell to cell adhesion and prevents the entry of undesirable molecules. Thus the cell wall acts as a protective covering against the pathogen. Now let us see the structure of cell wall. The inner layer of the cell wall is known as the secondary cell wall. Above it is the primary cell wall and the outer layer is known as the middle lamella. The secondary cell wall is just outside the plasma membrane. It is differentiated again into outer, middle and inner layer. It is the thickest layer and the composition of this layer is 5 to 25 percent of hemicellulose and 50 to 90 percent of cellulose. Other components like xylene, lignin, etc. are also present in the secondary cell wall. Due to this more cellulose, this layer become rigid and non-elastic, mainly found in cholenchyma, sclerenchyma and xylem vessels. Now let us see the primary cell wall. It is normally found in the young plant cell and gradually disintegrate as cell mature. This cell wall is capable of growth and it appears as a thin elastic layer. It is present in the inner of the middle lamella. The primary cell wall is made up of 3% cellulose, 50% hemicellulose and glycoproteins. All meristematic and parenchymatous cells have only this cell wall. Now the outer layer that is the middle lamella. It is the outermost layer of the cell wall mainly made up of calcium and magnesium pectate. It is the non-living layer that increases its volume by accumulation of material. It exists as a cementing layer between two primary cell walls of the adjacent cells. Other structures that are associated to the cell wall are pits and plasmodesmata. Pits are the unthickened areas of the cell walls. The plasmodesmata are the gaps between the cell wall that connect the cytoplasm of all the adjacent cell. If you like my video, then please like, share and comment and subscribe to the channel Science Query. Thank you.